go outside to work today is Damien, Braden. And what we're doing now is we're doing math and we're learning about angles and the circles and all that kind of stuff right now, which really helps you on the house if you think about it. Math isn't my favorite subject, but since we go outside and get hands on with things, it makes it a lot funner and I actually enjoy it now. And I've never been really good at math, but this I've actually been getting A's and B's in. The, the most thing that I look forward to when I come to this class is getting the chance to build the house, getting the chance to use my uh, math skills that I learned in geometry to put them out there into the house. And I just really look forward to this class every, every single week that I come here. Geometry, we teach all the normal traditional geometry standards for Common Core um, and our state and district standards, but they're encased kind of in a curriculum that is looking through the lens of construction. So we approach problems from a construction point of view, and we show why we need math and how we're going to use math to solve these problems. Well, the most common question you totally get in any math class is, uh, why is this relevant? Um, that's what you have to constantly be telling kids. And all around while we're building a house, like, look, I'm surrounded by parallel and perpendicular lines, um, and they better be parallel for this reason. Um, plus all the math, the fractions, the uh, distances, the planning, all has is directly related to building a house. So rather than having to constantly come up with little projects like, hey, calculate the surface area of a roof, we can say, hey, calculate the surface area of our roof so that we can figure out how many shingles we need to buy. And if we're off, then you see a real world consequence for that. Um, it gives a practical application for everything we do in geometry. When we began planning this program, we knew that we could build dog houses, we could build tool sheds, we could, there's a number of different capstone projects that we could build that would give the kids similar skills to building a house, but none of them would have the impact or the humanitarian impact on our city that working with a cause like Habitat for Humanity gave our students. They know whose names are going to be on the front door, they know where the house is going to be set, and we really, really are excited to provide for these kids an opportunity to build a house that they could drive by in 20 years and look back and say, that's the house that I've built. In high school, my friends and I, we built that house for a family that didn't have one before. To get kids thinking about that really has made them get outside of their little shell of, this is who I am, this is what I do, but oh, there are other people who are struggling with things. Um, it's also actually really helped with the student engagement too. I have kids who are into the math, I have kids who are into the construction, and I have probably 10 or 15 kids who couldn't care about either, but they care about the family and they want to help them. Um, the biggest motivation for them is, I need to help these people, which means I have to get my math homework done which, so that I can build this house for them. This class has made me think that I've really wanted to go into the engineering area because since they work with mostly everything on a construction site and they're mostly in charge of it and I just really think that it's made me think that I can achieve those goals. Ever since I was a little girl I've always wanted to be a construction worker. All little other little girls wanted to be princesses and stuff. I wanted to be a construction worker so this is really guiding me along that path. We really want to make a lot of career opportunities for these kids. Four-year college is great, um, but working in the skilled trades, not just the trades, is also an amazing alternative. So if we can get them into those opportunities rather than just being a low-level carpenter, um, there's a lot of opportunities for them. Having family and community partners through industry and businesses that have helped us out have been huge from materials to monetary donations and tremendous amounts of time that have been donated. One of those really awesome partners we've had has been the PSD Foundation that has given us a large amount of money and tremendous support and encouragement over the last couple of years. Really, the very first support or science support came from SPY, and we are so thankful for that vote of confidence in the beginning and the continued support that has made this program possible. <laughs>